Hello, my friends. Nice to meet you again. N, M, and D are three natural numbers. We name the remainder of n divided by d as r n d. And for any d which is not bigger than n, we add up all r n d together, and name the summation as d n. If n is equal to 2 to the nth power, d n and d n minus 1 are equal to each other. Can you prove this conclusion? Why not give a try, and we will come back soon. Before we prove it, let's take a closer look at what this conclusion actually means by using an example. Let's choose m to be equal to 4. Then n is equal to 2 to the 4th power, which is 16. n minus 1 equals 15. Let's make a table and write down all the remainders we need. For n minus 1, d goes from 1 to 15. And for n, d goes from 1 to 16. But in fact, the remainder of n divided by n must be 0. So for 16, there is no essential difference between changing d to 16 or 15. We first write down the remainder of 15 divided by 1 to 15. The remainder of 15 divided by 1 is 0. By 2 is 1. By 3 is 0. And so on, until by 15 and the remainder is 0. Then the remainder of 16 divided by 1 is 0. By 2 is 0. By 3 is 1. Until by 15 the remainder is 1. Now, we add up the remainders of the dividend of 15, dn minus 1 equals 36. And then add up the remainders of the dividend of 16, dn is also equal to 36, they are indeed equal. We actually can get the idea of proving the conclusion from this table. We find that, for different d, the remainder of n minus 1 divided by d and the remainder of n divided by d appear in two different cases. The first is that, when d is an integer power of 2, including d equals to 1, 2, 4, etc. We record it as d equal to 2 to the 8th power, where a is smaller than m. Here, because n is equal to 2 to the nth power, n is divisible by d, that is to say, r and d is always equal to 0 in this case. n minus 1 and n are co-prime, that is to say, n minus 1 and d must be co-prime. In fact, r n minus 1 d in this case is equal to d minus 1. That is, 2 to the 8th power minus 1. The other case is that, d is not an integer power of 2. In this case, no matter how much rn minus 1d is, rnd is always bigger than rn minus 1d by 1. Now, we divide both dn and dn minus 1 into two parts, one part is called d0 and the other part is called t1. d0 represents the summation of remainders when d is 2 to the 8th power, and t1 represents the summation of remainders when d is not 2 to the 8th power. Then let's calculate d0 n minus 1 minus d0 n, and t1 n minus d1 n minus 1, respectively. In the first formula, d0 n is always 0. So we just need to calculate d0 n minus 1. That is, when a is equal to 0, r n minus 1 d is equal to 2 to the 0th power minus 1. When a is equal to 1, rn minus 1d is equal to 2 to the first power minus 1. Until the maximum a, that is m minus 1, rn minus 1d equals 2 to the power of m minus 1 minus 1. That is the summation of a geometric sequence, whose first item is 1, common ratio is 2, and number of items is m. And then minus m. If we know how to calculate the summation of geometric sequence, we can write it directly, as 2 to the mp power minus 1. Well, it doesn't matter if we don't know it. We can briefly demonstrate how to calculate it here. We name this summation as x. And then we multiply each term by 2 to get that, twice x equals 2 plus 4, all the way up to 2 to the nth power. Then we subtract x from this 2x. Except for the term of 1 and the term of 2 to the nth power, all the other terms are the gone. So x is indeed equal to 2 to the nth power minus 1. Then the result is equal to 2 to the nth power minus 1 and then minus m. Now let's calculate d1n minus d1n minus 1. Each rnd is bigger than rn minus 1 by 1. So to calculate this one we just need to count how many terms there are. We know that there are a total of n minus 1 divisors, that is, 2 to the nth power minus 1 divisors. 
Among them, there are m terms in the aforementioned case. So in the current case we have a total of 2 to the nth power minus 1 and then minus m1s. So this result is also 2 to the nth power minus 1, and then minus m. That is to say, d0 n minus 1 minus d0 n and t1 n minus d1 n minus 1 are equal. So tn is also equal to tn minus 1. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.